Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, a, w a WordPress. It makes it to where you can run your own blog and website, different things like that. It has plugins, 55,000 according to the website. And on what you make, create with confidence. It's open source. Um, it's got a lot of themes to pick from. Um, it's community based, so we're going to get to installing that on Portainer. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll all the way down to how to install WordPress on Portainer. And then now I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So a version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called App. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image, and this is the tag that we're using. I'm going to map ports to 8080 on the host, and if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 8081. Um, and then it's 80 on the container. You do not change the, the container ports. You, you leave them the same. And then now I'm going to set environment variables. Uh, this is to connect to the DB uh, down here. So uh, these, uh, the host, user, password, and DB name should align with these down here too. Um, and then I'm gonna set volumes. So a WordPress data is a local volume that's defined down here. And then um, on the container is var www html. You do not change this path. Um, and then it depends on the, the service down here, DB. And then the networks, I put this in a network. So app is in a network and DB is in a network. And then the network is defined down here. And this makes it to where on the WordPress DB host right here, it can use the DB service name. And then now I'm gonna set volumes. So WordPress DB data is on the host side and on the container side is varlib mysql. Do not change the container side. And then now it's set in the networks down here of a WordPress network. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this and the it's MySQL and then the version tag is 5.7, the Docker image tag. So um, the environment variables right here, like I said, they should align with this. So DB host and then that's the service name. The, the DB user is Portainer and then that aligns with the MySQL user down here. The WordPress DB password of Portainer aligns with the MySQL password down here. And then the WordPress DB name WordPress aligns with the MySQL database, the default ones that's created. Once, once this is created, you cannot change the environment variables anymore. You have to do it through SQL. So um, now the networks are defined down here. The volumes are defined down here. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and copy raw file up here. And then I'm going to go over my portainer and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go ahead and install um, the WordPress inside of the portainer. So I'm going to start on my portainer's homepage. I'm going to go to local and then stacks, and then add stack up here. And then all stack is, is it's using Docker Compose underneath. So I'm going to name the stack WordPress stack. And then now I'm gonna go down the web, web editor right here. I'm gonna paste in the Docker Compose that explained in Big Bear Video Assets. That should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the stack. What this is doing is it's downloading the Docker containers off of the registries getting them extracted and getting them up with Docker Compose underneath.
This can take a bit. Okay, now it's successfully deployed and it should be up and running. So now I'm gonna start on Portainer Stacks. I'm gonna go on the WordPress stack that we created. And then now you got these tabs up here. For, so stack, and then you got editor over here. So your, your actions for the stack is stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. And you can also duplicate and, and migration down here. Um, you can go on editor and you can change the Docker and pose. You can also copy the clipboard over here. Um, so you can also come down here and um, you can update the stack once you've done editing up there. And the one thing with this uh, Docker and pose is it's using the lightest tags right here. So if the developer updates this lightest tag, pushes changes to it, you, you need to be able to download those changes and get them back up. So you can come down here to update the stack and now you can repull the, the changes on that latest tag right here. And then uh, you'll press update right here. It repulls the image off the registry, gets it extracted, and then uh, it gets the local ca cache updated. And then it pushes it back out to the cont containers. It, re it redeploys the cont containers. So you can also see the containers running down here. So it gives you a lot of info and the published ports. You can go into each container and you can have container options like start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash edit. You can also come down here and you got logs, great for debugging. And you got inspect, stats, console, attach. And this is using the Docker, en uh, the Docker engine underneath. Um, so the, the Docker comp compose actions in the CLI. Um, so you can come down here and access control, create image, container details, like the image and the latest tag it's using, and then that's the Shay. You can co come down here and see port configuration, like this is on the host at 8080, and then on the container is 80. And then the command, the entry point, the environment variables that are set, the labels, the restart policy, so you can change the restart policy and then update right here. You can also see that the volumes were created. So this is a local volume and then the path in the container. You can also see that it, cr it created a WordPress stack da down here. It's a bridge network. And that was done uh, uh, inside of the, the, uh, the editor over here. If you scroll down, you can see that the network's down here, a w WordPress network and it's, it's bridge. You can also see that it defined the volumes so uh, if you go into the stack DB now, you can see that you, you have actions up here just like normal in the container status, the access control, the create image, the container details, the volumes. You can see that it uses the local volume on the host and on the container is varlib mysql. And then this is the networks down here. So this is what it uh, created. So, um, now you can go backwards and you can see all the containers in here too. So you don't have to go in the stacks, but you can go in the stack and you can see all the containers in the stack right here. So that's a little bit about the portainer options. So now we're going to go to the UI and see if it works. So we're going to go in our browser. We're going to put our portainers IP address in. Then we're going to put 8080 on the end for the port that we used on the host. So I'm going to return or enter. Now we have the setup screen for WordPress, so it is working. I'm going to say continue. Now I'm going to put a site title of, um, I guess, uh, Big Bear Blog. And then a username, admin. And then I'm going to just do a password. I'm going to confirm weak password, but I would recommend putting a stronger password in, but this one's not going to be up for long, so... Um, so now I'm going to put an email address in. And then now you can discourage search engines from indexing your site, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're wanting uh, traffic from the search engines. So I'm going to say install, pass, uh, install WordPress. So now WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. And then you can log in now. So I'm going to log in with my username and password. So now we're in. And you have your sidebar, just like normal WordPress. And um, you can go and visit the site and see what it looks like. And um, you can also go to another page, a sample page. 
You can also edit this page up here, and then and now, and now you have the block editor. So get started. So now you can change things just like normal, and then update, and then um, you can go out of here, and then refresh the page, and now you have the testing there. So you can go into settings, and you can change the site title, the WordPress address if you're using a domain name, uh, the writing, a mail server, a reading, and then discussion, and then the media, and then permlinks, and then the privacy policy. Um, so you can change the appearance like themes. You can have an editor where you can change the uh, how this thing uh, looks. I'm gonna go backwards. You have tools down here like site health and um, import, export, export personal data, and then theme fi a file editor, a plugin file editor. You can have all kinds of plugins, and then you can see the default ones that are installed. You can go in to add new, a new plugin. And there's a lot of plugins. So there's Poplar, recommended, the favorites. Um, these are all community ones. You can go into appearance and you can add in a new theme. You can get community themes as well. There's a lot of them. Um, the latest block themes, fa favorites, and then you can pick between features you'd like. You can see comments right here. And then the pages, the media, once you start adding things, and then post, and then you're back at your, da your dashboard. So, that's a little bit about the WordPress UI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting WordPress running on Portainer. I showed you about the Docker and Pose. Uh, I showed you the UI at the end. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.